Hi guys, so today is going to be a Wilkinson's haul. Um, some things are actually already in my hamster's cages and in my rabbit's hutches. So I'm going to show you them bits first and then I'll get on with everything else that so I bought. The first item that I bought is actually in Millie's Alaska hamster cage. And it's one of the Wilco Climbing Frames Rodents. And this is the label that it comes with. Um, it just says hours of fun and there's a picture of a Russian dwarf hamster on there. And it says Henry loves an adventure and it's a great board and buster. And that's the back if you want to pause and read that. And um, yeah, it was £5 and it's basically this sort of wooden ladder based um, climbing frame. Um, and then it's got the metal wiring, um, which has got the clips to clip it onto the cage, which is really, really handy. Um, and then we've just got a few dangly toys as well. So we've got like a few rope toys and then there's like this one that's got wooden chews on it. And she's chewed them a little bit. Um, and then that one's just free to put another um, chew toy on. So yeah, I thought that was just really, really interesting because she's quite a climber, I've noticed. Um, we've actually had her for two weeks today. Um, and she's doing really, really well. Um, obviously, because she's asleep at the minute, I can't show you to her. But um, yeah, I put a picture um, at the end of her introduction video. So if you want to um, see that I'll leave the link in the description box so you can go and see that so that's the first item that I bought from Wilkinson's I then bought one of the Wilco small animal hula rope chews from for your fairy friend made from materials that small pets love to chew and it's hours of fun and there's a picture of a hamster rabbit and a guinea pig on there and it's actually just um, this chew toy that's hanging up here it's got loofah so a green orange and yellow piece of loofah and then it's got a little sort of Rustly bit at the bottom as well, which I think is loofah as well. Whoops. And then it's got like two little balls in the middle. I'm not exactly sure what material it is, but I think that's like hyacinth and some sort of other ropey um, material. But um, yeah, it's really stiff and it was only £2, I believe, which is pretty good. Um, it has a little hook on it as well. So you can keep it hooked to the bars. And he's chewed it a little bit. Not too much. But it's just there. Just in case he wants to have a little gnaw on that. So that's the second thing that I bought. So the next two items are in Molly and Poppy Run. So the first item is one of the Wilkinson's alfalfa rings. And it's basically made from 70% meadow hay and 30% alfalfa hay. And it's a really, really good source of um, fat for baby rabbits. Um, because obviously they need a bit of a boost um, while they're babies to get a bit chubbier so um, I bought three of these when Lily and Coco were babies and they're a really really good weight now so I'm going to do it with Molly and Poppy and see how they get on this is their first one and as you can see they've destroyed it quite a lot um, so they are a bit expensive they are £3.50 but um, if you were to go to Pets at Home and buy one of these they'd be a lot more expensive so Wilkinson's is your best bet if you want to make the most out of your money um, so yes that's the Ring. and then I also bought one of the Wilkinson's Chew Tubes and these are really, really good for rabbits or guinea pigs and I've got the colour um, purple and cyan blue and um, yeah they're really really robust and they're really good for chewing um, and they're just really stiff and rock hard um, I've had about four or five of them in the past um, some of them um, were for Tash and Rabbit when they were alive and um, Lily and Coco have got a couple in their hutch as well and then I've bought one for Molly and Poppy um, the reason why I didn't buy like two of them for Molly and Poppy is because they've got this huge Rosewood Broaden Breakers activity tunnel um, and it was only 4 99 from Pet Planet which is an online pet shop um, but if you were to go into Pets at Home there'd be about £10 for this tube or tunnel whatever you want to call it um, which is an absolute rip off so yeah, it's purple inside and blue on the outside. And yeah, they love it. Um, but I thought I'd just get them one of the chew tubes as well. Because um, it's good shade and it's something else to chew on. And it's like basically another board and breaker. So yeah, they're the two things um, that I bought that are in Molly and Poppy's And now onto everything else. So I got two of the Wilco wood shavings for small beds. You know I set like a log and there's a picture of a guinea pig, rabbit and a hamster on there and it says your cuddly little friends will love burrowing into bed when you use our biodegradable eco-friendly shavings and I've got two of the large um, packets and they're really really cheap at the moment and um, they are £2 each so £4 for the two 
and yeah just has some information on the back there um about hay straw and wood shavings and who you should give what to and yeah just a bit of information as well if you want to pause and read so yeah that's them i then bought three one and a half kilogram bales of the wilco meadow hay for small animals and it just says have your bed and eat it and there's a picture of a king big rabbit and chinchilla on there and it says whether your furry friends need a nap or a nibble our top quality hay is perfect and they're only £1.50 each so I thought I'd stock up and get three because it's apparently a stay low price so that's also what I bought and I also bought three medium bales of the Wilco Harvest Straw for rabbit beds this is so snuggly and it just says bunnies couldn't wish for a comfier bed it's more hygienic too and um, they were only £1.50 each as well so I stopped up and bought three of them so that's them I also bought two of the Wilco Playables for hamsters and I bought a blue lidded one which is for Tommy who is my male Syrian hamster and then I bought a pink lidded one that is for Millie and she is my female Syrian hamster and um, yeah Millie needed a ball because she's quite a new hamster I've had her for two weeks today and um, yeah she just needed a ball so I bought her one with a pink lid and that was 3 25 and then I bought a new one for Tommy because he has um, a two lidded purple ball but it's a bit dirty now even when I clean it um, and it's getting a bit um, flimsy as well it's like falling apart a little bit so I just bought him a new one um, that's got a blue lid and that was 3.25 as well and then everything else that I've got left to show you is in this Wilco bag so the first two things are the same thing and they are just 270 gram um, bags of the Wilco functional Paper pet bedding, warm and cosy bedding for guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils and mice. And I use this for my Syrian hamsters bedding um, when I clean them out. I've already got loads but I just thought I'd get some more um, because it's so cheap. It's only a pound um, for 70 grams which is pretty good. So yeah, it's just really nice and soft and cosy for them. So that's them two. And then I've got also a pack of the Wilco 3 Impeccable Millet Sprays. Um, Mavis finds it so irresistible and it just says packed full of natural goodness clip inside your cage or aviary to keep your birds bright eyed and blooming I know it says like these are for birds but you can give these to hamsters as well and these um, are what I bought for my Syrian hamsters Millie and Tommy and I've already given um, two of them to each hamster um, so I've given one to Tommy and one to Millie um, I let them have a little bit last night and then I've just left it on top of their cages and then there's one millet spray left in the pack and I don't know how much you get I think it's literally just three minute sprays but yeah three minute sprays for 95p which I think is really good and literally all it is is just millet seeds as you can see in the composition so yeah that's that and then I also bought some of the Wilco Tandelina fennel sticks for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas and degus. I'll snuffle these up. There's a picture of a rabbit and guinea pig and it says 100% natural treats with no added sugar, natural goodness and you get 140 grams. And I'm going to give one of these sticks to Lily and Coco and the other stick to Molly and Poppy. Um, I was thinking about getting one stick for each rabbit but then I thought that's a bit greedy and they can easily share so it's just one stick for... Um, Lily and Coco or one stick for Molly and Poppy and these were £2.50 which sounds a bit pricey but it's basically one twenty five per stick and they're pretty thick and full of dandelion fennel sticks as well as other bits there's a composition if you want to pause and read and there's just like direct, no directions for use a bit of information and yeah I bought them for the rabbits to have a little treat and then the last thing is just um, another treat for the hamsters so it's the Wilco 2 honey sticks for hamsters and gerbils Harold thinks these are the bee's knees and there's a picture of a hamster with sunflower seeds and wafer stuff and it says a tasty mix of wholesome wheat, sunflower seeds and honey 80 grams per stick and it's a tasty recipe and natural goodness and um, there's the sell by there so that's I think June 2016 so I've got about a year on that and yeah, they look really, really tasty. Um, I'm going to give these to um, Tommy and Millie every now and then. So basically, Tommy will have one stick every now and then. 
and then the other stick will be for Millie but every now and then instead of in there all the time it's good for their teeth because they seem pretty stiff and it's a bit of information feeding guide and the composition is wheat maize split pea stripped sunflower seeds peanuts honey and extruded wheat so yeah pretty good and they're only one pound fifty which is basically 75p per stick which i thought was absolutely amazing so yeah that's um honey sticks and that is everything that i bought from wilkinson's so yeah thank you for watching and i'll speak to you next time bye